Hi guys, welcome to Map TV. My name is Mr. Joseph with Project Sketch. Today we're going to be learning about a new project that we can do for today called Single Line Art. Also, we're going to be adding mixed media with watercolors. So the first thing we're going to be doing is learning the vocabulary words of the day, which is going to be the first one, line. A line is a path of moving point that is made by a mark by a tool or instrument as it is drawn across a surface. So basically, if you put a pencil down and move it across the paper, you draw a line. The next one you're going to have is non-objective. It's a term given to an artwork that is non-recognizable by a certain matter. So it's basically the things that you've learned from other videos like imperialism, or impressionism, sorry, uh, surrealism and stuff like that. Those are objective paintings. Uh, the ones that we're learning to are non-objective. And the next one is going to be aesthetics. Aesthetics is an idea that what makes an artwork beautiful or what makes it look really nice to the person doing it or the people that are looking forward to it. So for the materials that you're going to need for today, you're going to need watercolors, uh, a marker and some paper. So you guys can go ahead and go get that now and I'll get mine too. Alright guys, now that you have your materials, we're going to be going over with the line art. So this is going to be called single line art, which means that you're going to put your pencil down and create that line that we were talking about earlier and you're not going to pick it up until you're done with the whole drawing. So as you can see here, I have my little bear right here. It says love yourself in the middle, so we're going to learn how to do that. Alright guys, now that you have your paper and your pen ready to go, we're going to learn a design by Lin Wang Sween. She's a very famous line, single line artist. Uh, so we're going to do your love yourself, hug yourself bear, okay? So you're going to come down, you're going to grab your pen, and you're going to come down. You're going to make him like a little fat bear too. So don't be afraid of little curves. And you're going to create your little foot. You're going to come up. Then you're going to start with the other foot. Come up. Make sure you make them nice and big so you have plenty of room. And this is where the first arm's going to come. So you're going to go across the body. And then you're going to make his little hand, two, three. And remember guys, you cannot pick up your pen, all right? This is a single line, so if you pick up your pen, you're cheating. So now you're going to come over, you're going to go over, and you're going to create the, the letters love yourself in cursive. And now this is where after we end, we're going to create the other hand. Now we're, this is where we're going to start heading for the head. You're going to go a nice curve up. And then we're going to do a little loop-de-loop -loop for the nose. Now we're going to create the, the ears. So come up, a little bump right here, and then come down. Now this is where you get to let go. So now you have it. And now you're going to create the little eyes. So you're going to create little U's. U, U. And then you're going to make the little mouth and a little sideways U. And there you got it. All right, guys, so this is the first part. So the, what we were talking about earlier also with the mixed media, we're going to add watercolors to it. So you guys can grab whatever watercolors you want. I decided to grab yellow, blue, and red. So what the cool thing about watercolors, you can be as messy as you want. So you can go ahead and grab the blue and just start going to town with it. And the cool thing is you can mix it really well too with other colors, with yellow, and then make sure you get all around the papers too. So yeah, watercolor is cool because uh, you can go outside the lines. That's what makes watercolor so much fun. And then if you want, you can even use two brushes at the same time and just you know go crazy with it. So with this, you have uh, your line. And so with this kind of art, it's called non-objective, meaning it has no real art style. It's just whatever that you felt like making. And with the aesthetics, it just means that you make it however beautiful you want to make it. So this is go ahead and uh, this is line art with uh, Joseph and Project Sketch. I hope you guys had a good day and I'll see you in the next project. Yeah.